Okay, so now the lighting wants to come back up and I've already put on the back camera. So it is what it is. So anywho guys, hopefully I'm not exposing anything and don't have to blur out anything. You might see a chip toe. It's okay. It's life. But um, hello, formal intro. Hello, I'm the corner White. Welcome. Really, son? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content. Now it's been a minute. Good morning. Now it's actually 10 o'clock. Like I laid in the bed. I woke up at nine. My alarm went off. Um, babe came home around 930, 940 to find her AirPods. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get out the bed at 10. Y'all, it's 1026. And I'm just now getting up, getting moving and all of that. Now I'm actually leaning towards earlier days. So, it's Monday. It's my day off. I take off of work or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's so... Y'all, I get to take off of work. Like, I literally... And usually, it is Mondays. Like, I like extended weekends. Um, I might take a Friday off or Thursday or something. But I typically take Mondays and do what I need to do. However, when you're an entrepreneur, are you ever really not working? <laughs> Especially when it comes to being an influencer as well yeah um so with that being said uh oh y'all i really should have went in today because of how my schedule is i should have went in and i might even go in tonight but i'm probably not so um just to keep this uh under five minutes this intro i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the layout of the week so monday uh today we have our dance pole being installed. I'm putting it right out here in the hallway. Um, it's just something random that I saw. And I was like, I want to do it. I want to try it. And I'm doing it. Okay. So I want to clean the dog room. I want to. And that's another thing. If the dance pole, if he can't do it in this hallway, then I'm going to have him put it in the dog room. Is that weird? But I don't really want it and I really don't want it in there. I really wanted it in this hallway because I have a seven foot glassless mirror coming and I wanted to put that in the hallway with my neon sign above it. So I don't really know. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. This vlog is going to be long enough. Uh, I need to edit some courses. So like I said, as an entrepreneur, are you ever not working? Even though today is my day off, I'm still doing work. Um, start my vlog, which I'm doing. Hey. And then I need to retwist my hair. I have a photo shoot tomorrow, but I don't know. Like, I need to retwist my hair because for my photo shoot, I want to wear my faux lock ponytail and have my real locks looking like something too. So we'll see if we get there. Maybe I can get Babe to do it tonight. I need to send out some invoices because honey, need my money. Um, Check on some YouTube comments, some TikTok comments. I need to go ahead and do that trying to stay more active like with my social media um the algorithms suck so look and i have some meals coming so i have been doing hello fresh this is not sponsored i have been doing hello fresh and freshly meals and that's a part of my wellness journey we'll talk about that in a second and um i'm trying factor i think i'm trying factor this week or next week so I'm trying to change it up and switch it up and stuff. And I might even skip a week with HelloFresh because I have a few meals already still left in the refrigerator. So Tuesday, we have a photo shoot, okay, at noon. I have a tax meeting at 2. I don't know if I'm going to get out the photo shoot in time, but because it's only a few outfits, I should, okay? Even if I'm on the phone in a car on my way back to the office or something, I should be able to do that. Um, edit courses. So still editing courses because I am a little behind in what I wanted to get out and my schedule and all that good stuff because it's a whole long story. Homework. I do need to do some homework because I got my event planning certification, but I'm still in the middle of my interior design and my wedding planning. Or did I get my wedding? No, I got the event. Okay. So um, I need to set up my QuickBooks. I need to set up my Loomly. If you don't know what Loomly is, it's like a social media management platform. So I can go on Loomly and check all of my Instagram content, um, comments, sorry, uh, 
Facebook comments. And I'm thinking, I'm going to see if I can check my YouTube comments there too. And okay. then I need to pack orders. So it was like a huge delay last month. Like with the office move came a, some slight delays. And then like, it's just been a lot. Okay. The warehouse and it's been a lot. So Wednesday filming day, literally that's when it's filming day. I don't schedule anything else around it. Whatever else happens, happens. But filming day and honestly that's been out of whack too because of moving stuff around in the house this room that we're in used to be the smaller room and we'll get there too so and that's my sister's birthday she's turning 17 um do y'all remember my sister like i remember doing a vlog with my little sister and we was going to alta and i was we was doing each other well i was on my makeup showing her how to do her makeup and like, I don't know if I posted that. Like, I had the content. I don't know if I posted it. But I think y'all met my little sister. She's really shy, though. Um, and then Thursday, editing. So, editing the content that I filmed on Wednesday. But also, if I have any other work to do, I'll do that. Emails are, like, throughout the week. So, always on top of that. So, Friday, I'm going to get the kids. And I'm going to get her, like, some balloons and stuff like that. Probably cupcakes, you know. Something real cute. Saturday, I might take them to the movies. Keep in mind, it's four kids. And... If y'all don't know, my family was recently burned out of their house. So we had a GoFundMe set up. I still link it in my videos. But it's just like, it's been a lot. And it's also other things happening. I'm not going to put people business out there. So it's just like a lot going on. And yeah. So um, Sunday... I'm thinking I'm going to make a Sunday dinner like an Alfredo or something like something I can make a lot of and then I'm going to take them back home. And yeah, so hopefully that didn't take up too much of our time. Um, and I want to tell you guys about some home decor projects that I got going on and also about my wellness journey and things like that. So, so let's get into the wellness journey first. Can I sum it up in 60 seconds? I don't know, but I'm going to have like, I think a whole separate type of diary for that type of stuff. Um, video diary. Uh, so anywho, I decided because I was feeling so shitty, like so shitty that it was time to take my health into my own hands. So y'all know I did the let's get checked testing. So I still have to send those off. And, um, I'm just like, but let's go ahead, even before we go schedule, make doctor's appointments, do this, do that. Let's see if we can change some things within ourselves and begin to feel better. You know, yeah, we can get the official diagnosis, right? Um, or things like that, but it could literally be things that you're putting in your body. It can be the fact that you're not getting enough sleep, that you have too many, too much sodium, too much sugar, not enough water, like it could be anything all right your hormones off balance like anything could be disturbing you so why are you feeling so groggy when you get up and now when i wake up i'm perking up like all right i'm still not a morning person but i'm still able to get up and feel like oh i can breathe i feel good i'm doing this so what i have been doing is just monitoring what i'm eating a lot of people don't like to police their food i don't police my food i rent a cop my food okay i'm all cop my food like i still have chick-fil-a i still have fast food like mcdonald's i would say that's about it i don't really eat wendy's and burger king and stuff but i'll still go to mcdonald's give me some nuggets and fries ice cream cone i'll still go to chick-fil-a give me a grilled chicken sandwich i did start to stay away from their macaroni and cheese because the sodium is so fucking high and a medium mac and cheese is 1100 milligrams of sodium are you kidding me so i had to like that's more than the sandwich itself which is like 800 800 100 <laughs> um so i've been trying to do my fast in between 12 and 8 but i've like always well not always but i've been doing that for like two three years now but you know it's times where i might eat a little earlier or a little later and it is what it is i'm not about to be so hard on myself but that's what I've been doing. I've been drinking a tea. It's a wellness tea from the Alkaline Goddess. And when I tell y'all, my blood pressure was, I ain't gonna say through the roof, but it was too high. It was way too motherfucking high. It was in an orange. I'm sorry for all this cussing, but it was in an orange. And I got it back to the green within a week. 
within a week. And if you know the chart, you know the chart, right? It was in a yellow, orange, yellow, orange. And I'm like, no, elevated blood pressure, stage one hypertension. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, like what? And then I had to think like, what am I eating? Like literally my friends would be like, you don't eat bad. Like what in the world? And it's like, you don't know you're eating bad. But if you're eating smash burger for lunch, Chick-fil-A for dinner, not knowing that that Chick-fil-A's uh, mac and cheese had 1,100 grams, almost 1,200 milligrams of sodium in the burger or the sandwich was 800 to 1,000, that's a 2,000 milligram freaking lunch or dinner. So I know this is going to be a little more than two minutes, but I feel like this is knowledge that we need to get out there. So even if you're not quote unquote eating bad, it's still like, oh my God. Even if you go on a Chick-fil-A, I mean, Chipotle, sorry, getting a salad, it's still a lot of sodium because of the meat. The It's just, I've been taken into account, okay? So with that being said, even a burger, going to Wingstop, you think, oh, I'm just getting some chicken tenders and some corn. The two chicken tenders got a thousand milligrams. I don't even know. I'm not going to, you know, say for a fact, but... I know I stopped even eating Wingstop and I was on a Wingstop binge because, oh my gosh, it's so good, right? The ranch is amazing. The sodium is awful, okay? So I've been just incorporating more fiber, more, um, what is it? Protein, protein I've been prioritizing. I've been doing like protein coffees or profies, um, just so much stuff. And I, like I said, that's like a lot to try to put into this one video, which is going to be lengthy within itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that separately and tell you guys what I've been doing. And it's going to be like days in the life and things like that. With all of that being said, um, after a week of drinking my blood pressure and heart health teas, my, uh, blood pressure was back down, um, below 120. Okay um it was in the green so we're happy about that and also what else blood pressure oh so i started this maybe uh the first week of august we are in the third week and i have lost nine pounds did i do this with the intention of losing weight no that i know that the extra weight that i put on was making me feel bad mm, somewhat right what i was eating along with the weight that what i was gaining it just was a combination and I just wasn't feeling my best. And as you can see, now I'm glowing. The sun knew when it come up, right? But no, I did lose nine pounds. Um, I got on a scale not expecting anything, nothing at all. <laughs> my goals are realistic. I don't have a goal number that I want to be at. I have how I want to feel, a goal feeling. And so far I've been feeling really good. Does that mean I'm going to stop with my lifestyle change? No, I'm going to keep going with it. So that's that. Um, again, I've been doing HelloFresh freshly and now I'm about to try Factor. And it's been making my life easy because I'm already indecisive when it comes to picking out food. So yeah, some more updates. I'm working on my podcast. I'm about to launch a new wig. I'm really excited about that. Um, it's just like so much, you know, and if I'm not really putting my all into my businesses, they're not really being out there. Like, if you're the face of your brand, you have to be the one who pushes your brand. You have to post consistently. And that's what I'm really trying to get into. Okay. Um, home stuff. I do have some artwork coming for above the bed. Um, I do have to show you guys the new room. But it's not done yet. Like, it's not done. I did my corner. Babe still has to do her corner. And I think that's going to be like my birthday gift to her. Um, and we still just need to get it right like we got to paint the tv console fireplace thing it's white right now we need to paint it black or emerald um green because that's our pop color now well you don't see any of it maybe the curtains but yeah so uh, we added more green to the room because it was just black and wood and with a little bit of silver but the emerald is such a nice touch um the, the garage cabinets did i mention that already no so in the garage we have like a basketball hoop and stuff and we want to put like a hockey air hockey type table and have like a bar area i don't really drink anymore that's just another thing i don't smoke or drink anymore and not cigarettes i wasn't smoking cigarettes i was on the edibles and stuff and i don't do that anymore um i drink like if i go to a restaurant i'll get like a drink or two but I don't really, you know, maybe a pomegranate martini, but 
taking shots and doing all of that. Maybe a lemon drop. I can't do, uh-uh. I don't do that no more. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the garage, she, you know, turns up a little bit. So we're going to do like the bar area and, um, yeah, it's going to be a chill spot. So everything that's in there, it looks a little messy. So we're putting the garage cabinets. Uh, those come tomorrow. So going to build those and put those in the garage. And I might actually have somebody come build them because I don't feel like it. All right, so apologies for what that lighting, I guess it's a window reflection. But um, this is how the bedroom is looking. Okay, so so cute. I love the emerald. Oh, and it's a bench right here too. Love that. I don't think it's scented, but one thing I really love, really quickly, let me show y'all what I really, really, really love, and that is the automatic curtains. Look, y'all. So this is baby side, and I want to click close. Y'all. I love it. So the one thing I do want to do is fix that right there. You see the gap in? And I need to calibrate it to close it more. But I love it. And of course, those do the same thing. But we will lose so much light. So, yeah. They open up at 6.30 a.m. Um, I got two 40-inch or 48-inch, I forget which one artworks that i want to put above the bed so i have to put this shelf back up to sit them on them because we're not moving this bed again this bed was a struggle to move um so this is her corner and she, we gonna get it together okay um and then this is my corner which i have been putting together last week and i just got the two big emerald circle pillows from world market the throws um, and the other cushion from Amazon. And then I just reused pillows that was on my bean bag and put them there. So you see all the little black marks on the wall? That's where the floating shelves were. So I think I'm gonna just paint them, um, patch them up, paint them or whatever. But this is like my reading corner. This is where I play Call of Duty, um, watch some YouTube where I wind down, meditate in the morning if need be, read all that good stuff, journal before I do get into the bed and disturb babe, okay? Um, Cause she does go to bed earlier than me. And I have my Monstera over there. And right here, this is the ottoman that was in my old bedroom. But now it's in this bedroom. And I just sat my two other plants on there, which one of them is kind of struggling, but we gonna get it together. And then we got my wigs and stuff that I need to put into the other room. And um, this corner is really cute. I think we're going to probably change some stuff up. But just have my siblings and my nephew. I need to put my cousin in there too. And yeah. Also, update. In here, we changed the contact paper to black. Love it so much more now. And still have to go in there, do a deep clean. So that hole, hole, that hole needs to be patched. And... This needs to be painted. So it's a work in progress in here. It's not all cute. <laughs> okay, this is Babe's closet now. I'm going to show y'all mine in a second. Just do a quick walkthrough in there. Um, and then this is a table that we have our linens and stuff in. And I think I'm going to put something above it. Um, she was thinking this art piece that combined our names. But yeah, we are getting there in this room her corner is going to have like string lights a little bean bag or medium bean bag and she wants to like plant stands and stuff so her side gonna be real decked out okay she won't let me put string lights over in my corner because she thought of it first but it's cool though but anywho um yeah it's still a work in progress but so far so good dog's about to be crying but so this is where i want the pole and um, the mirror and stuff, but I have to, of course, move this, which I'm taking the filling out of this big old bean bag and putting it into Babe's bean bag and also into two smaller ones that's gonna go in the dog chill room. Okay, so I still have some more things to go through in here and get out this room because we will be hosting some guests soon for Babe's birthday. Um, 
I am redoing the contact paper in this bathroom. This is barely used. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I use it because it's now by my beauty cave. So I use the bathroom. So I'm redoing the contact paper. And yeah, I'm going to make it cuter in there. Um, But this is what's going on in here. It ain't the best right now because um, I've been in here filming and stuff. And I'm not supposed to film in here. I'm supposed to film at the office. But just an overview I did put like paper on the door. I feel like I'm so close to everything. So did that. Then my mirror. Then I put up the shelves. And I've been vlogging all of it on TikTok. So yeah. I condensed a whole. That whole what my new bedroom is. Or our new bedroom. Condensed it down to this one small room. And this, could you believe, used to be our bedroom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is how I was looking in here. Again, I've been in here doing my waxes and stuff. So, it's a little junky junky, but not really. And this is how it's looking. All right. Real cute light, real cute. Um, So, I have a few more things to do in here. But, again, this is my beauty case. So, I ain't even pressed or in distress. My birthday pictures. Y'all see me? Y'all see me? Yes. Yes. All right. Let me go get these dogs, feed them, feed myself, and um, prepare for this pole man to come. So, as you can see, the bigger dogs made a horrible mess. Like, girl, what? Look at this. So, I'm about to get this together, vacuum, and all that in here. China is the only one who gets to sleep outside of her cage because they are still being trained. Um, for the most part, they haven't had an accident in the house in like so, so long. So we're going to start letting them sleep in our room, you know, a couple times a week. So they're not into the cage. And then eventually I want all of these cages out. So they may, may still be confined a little, but we're moving little by little by little. Y'all, I'm definitely getting rid of the glass table because I'm tired, boss. It's dirty. We don't even eat over here, like Babe said. But she made the dog food, so I'm about to give them that. But I'm definitely going to get a wooden table. Just run over China. China, if you don't go get your food, they're going to eat it. So these are the teas. I have some more coming, actually. So this is the blood pressure control. This is the heart health. So this is what I'm on right now. But I have a bunch, as you can see. Fibroid fighter. Blood purifier. Um... Brain Enhancement, that's the brand, the Goddess Collection. Cramps Be Gone, Inflammation Ease, and then I got the Breathe Easy as well. What I eat tea. So, let me actually put my water on. I don't pay Khadija no mind, child. All right, so like I said, I'm doing a heart health and pressure control. You can, uh-oh, change it out. Now, I did make a mistake and mix too many at one time. So don't be like me. One tablespoon, one tablespoon of each, and you can mix up to three a day. But I kind of, if I'm doing one, I'm just doing that. That's the heart health, and I'm doing two scoops because this is a half a tablespoon because it fits better into the container. By the way, so that and there. And you let it steep for 10 minutes. They said no longer than 10 minutes on these right here. Um, ooh. Stop fighting. So, you let that sit for 10 minutes and let it steep. You can sweeten it with 100% agave, but... I just drink it plain. I don't put any sweeteners in it. You can do it twice a day. Um, if you're only doing one tea, so if I was just doing a blood pressure control, I would do it half this jar of water, so eight ounces instead of 16, and I would do um, three times a day. But since I do these two, I do it once or twice a day, 16 ounces. But um, yeah, don't let it steep for longer than 10 minutes. and. That's that. I don't drink it hot or cold. I let it steep. Then I let it sit for like an hour or two. 
until it is room temperature. Y'all, this is steak from yesterday. Like I'm really the steak queen. Still pink, still juicy. Come on, pitted me some cherries. I wanted to show y'all, but my phone had died. So yeah, and I made some grits. I was gonna do oatmeal, but I chose grits. But I like my savory and sweet, so I got some cherries on the side with my water and my tea. So I'm here with the big old bean bag. I am drinking my tea. Again, you could sweeten it with agave if you decide to try it. But um, I just drink it. Like, I just drink it. So, I'm going to try to get this open, but I'm hoping it's not going to make a mess. And I have these two. Oh. But these are kind of small bean bags to fill. I think the one I'm getting baby is already filled. <laughs> Alrighty. Y'all know Brittany here, right? When y'all see this. Y'all know. So anywho, the pole is installed. <laughs> oh wait, let me How do my... I equate to that? <laughs> it was your own um, Mountain Dew. I said oh, I yeah. showed them. But anywho, yes y'all and I got it into spinning mode. So yeah look y'all see it it's over for these bitches okay i hope it don't come down you don't like cold stuff don't you? huh you don't like cold stuff on hot stuff it's is yeah still 11 30 so basically um i'm just wearing my thrifty slay t-shirt um on the back it has my name and of course i'm wearing thrifty slay on my head i didn't even glue it down or nothing this is a hot glue unit um it's from years ago so yeah i ain't do nothing to it for i need to brush it and i have on some pink sweatpants Oh, y'all really can't see, but yeah, I just have on some pink sweatpants and I'm wearing my tie-dye Crocs. And that's going to be my fit for today. I'm not doing the most because we're not doing the most outside of going to the office. So, um, yeah, yesterday I was supposed to have a photo shoot. That did not work out because people don't know how to... We're not even going to get into all of that. And then I also feel like I'm not overextending myself to try to make deadlines. Or not even deadlines, but make things and it's just like am i really getting the most out of this you know so with that being said i just was like yeah i'm not like i got other sh that i'm doing i'm not about to try to rush to get over here like and this person didn't confirm the exact date like anybody got time because if i asked you and i'm, I'm gonna give y'all a scenario if I ask y'all, if I'm a company and I say I'm looking out for a photographer, I'm reaching out to a photographer and I'm just like, oh, can you, um, you know, can you book this studio for this time on this day? The photographer say, yeah, I'll basically I'll look into it. Mind you, I'm familiar as the model, I guess you'll say, or the influencer in the situation. I'm familiar with the studio, knowing that the studio owner is one and a-hole, tried to book the studio myself he was so dry bland and just uh okay hard to deal with and even on the time the first time we did the photo shoot there he wasn't even getting a response okay and you're the photographer who already booked the space and the man who owns it is not even responding for real so now you have to search for a key to hopefully get you in the building so i already knew how the photo the photography studio owner 
I knew how he rocked already. So I know in my in the back of my head, okay, it's a hit or a miss. Like, I don't know if we're really going to have the studio. So you as a photographer who's supposed to book a studio, aren't you going to come at least a couple days, if not 24 hours beforehand and be like, okay, yeah, we're all booked up. Um, such and such is ready to go. The studio was booked. So I messaged them the day before, like, okay, are we in the studio? Like, did it get booked? Is it confirmed? No response. The next morning, I messaged at 6 a.m. That, that's the deadline for me. 6 a.m. the next day, you're done, okay? I had other things to do. So they're like, oh, well, we still haven't gotten in touch. Okay, cool, because I'm about to go do what I'm about to do. Responds later, but at that point, I've got other things to do, right? And then, like, I'm like, I don't have no makeup on, no hair, no shave. Like, it's active wear. I need my underarms waxed or shaved. I need my legs waxed or shaved. Like, hello? I needed a retwist in my hair because the style I wanted to do. Or I was going to just do a wig and do it in an updo. But, again, at this point, I'm just like, it's not going to happen. Not going to make it. Oh, well, can you do a later time? No, because I already have another obligation at a later time. No. So then the dude is just condescending, like, oh, what's the issue? And this, that, and the third. Like, and what's crazy is I went on his social media. He was following me. I went on his social media and he unfollowed me. Like, sir, how petty. Like, you got there before I did. Bitch move. And um, they reached out like, oh, such and such is not going to be. But I said, I didn't plan to shoot with him. Because he's like, oh, I have a baby and I have this and I have that and um i have a digital media company like okay we have companies too like bro and again if you're a professional you would have confirmed you would have came back at least 24 hours ahead of time and said yeah we're on see you tomorrow daquana right right but you didn't do that so don't tell me what companies you got and this that and third like okay great have companies as well what are we gonna throw that in each other's faces and he's like, oh, well, this was the only time I allotted to do this. Da, da, da. All right. I said, okay, we'll figure something out on our end. That's that. Like, have a great life at this point. So the lady comes and she tells me, oh, you know, he can't do this. He can't do that. Um, I'm like, oh, I didn't plan to shoot with him ever again. Like, again, he was a awesome photographer. He did a great job the first go round. But at the end of the day, professionalism is key. Okay. So coming later and we're still working with you and even at that time not to mention there were some things said on his end too like um i'm not even gonna put him out there on front street but yeah he had a lot to say about what he was being paid and whatnot so let's start there um even though i'm like sir we're only here for a couple of hours you're getting a decent amount of money like but anywho um but that's beside the point so they're like, yeah, he doesn't want to do the shoot. I said, I don't want him to do my shoot. Let's find somebody else. Like, my brother is a whole photographer. If anything, I'll call him. Okay? The only reason I went with this guy is because you, y'all chose him. All right? It wasn't my choice. It wasn't my pick. I have options. So anyways, that was that yesterday. Um, so I did go to the office. I packed up some wigs and some bundles to ship out. And, um, yeah, cleaned out the refrigerator. I still have to do the freezer side, but, um, I'm definitely going through like the pantry and stuff. Cause I feel like it's like old stuff in there. Um, so I'm just going through like the old stale cereals and stuff. Um, but I did the refrigerator. I got the meals from factor. I got juices and smoothies from factor as well. And, um, I have a few hello fresh meals and also some freshly meals. So I've been alternating between like, Freshly and Factor for the like microwavable meals and then HelloFresh is just like the dinner meals and babe made one last night She made the burger and the potato wedges, which was pretty good. She thinks it's healthy But I'm like HelloFresh is not necessarily like just straight healthy like they do pastas and all types of stuff, right? Um, I was like, I think freshly and well Factor I feel like is the top like healthiest, right? And then freshly and then HelloFresh like I feel like HelloFresh is just like a meal kit delivery like so you don't have to go to the grocery store but the others are just like good lunches you know fill you up and all that good stuff so that came in yesterday and yeah 
Um, I don't know what I'm about to eat for lunch. I want some insomnia cookies, so I'm definitely gonna get that. Oh, the artwork for Above the Bed came. So it's not like true green. And I'm okay with that because I wanted something like a little pop or a little different. So I'm about to show y'all. These are, I think, 40 or 48 inches. And they look like this. Well, one looks like this. They're both different. But um, I feel like it has like a teal, which can be like seen as a dark emerald. I think it'll look really nice above the bed. And it also has that like golden mustard color that I was looking for too. I don't know if I'm gonna put both of those colors in here, but I feel like it matches the woody tones of this room. And this is the other one here. Um, just come up close for ya really really nice and uh, i think both of these next to each other above the bed will be big enough and i'm gonna put the black shelf back up above the bed and just sit these on it um because nobody's moving this bed <laughs> to actually hook these on the wall so i'm just gonna put the shelf and sit these on top and i actually chose this size because it's actually a little bit bigger than my birthday photos or a little bit smaller i don't know which one but around the same size as my birthday photos that i had printed on a canvas which are now in my beauty cave and i think it'll fit nicely because i wanted something big enough but not like too big so i think it'll fit nice i look you want to go jump on the bed and try to see but i think it's gonna look really really nice above the bed and that's that. Hi, right, breakfast. I got some water, strawberry banana smoothie from Factor. It's lightweight. Like, if you like sweet smoothies, you won't like it. If you like really thick smoothies, you might want to put it in a freezer. But it's not really, really thick. Um, I don't know. I'm going to drink it. It tastes like strawberry banana. Made me some grits. Believe it or not, that's one serving. Like, I only got a cup of grits in here. Um, well, a fourth cup of grits, one cup of water. And then I made some turkey sausage, which these, um, I like them burnt. So got that. And then I made like an egg and spinach scramble. I'm trying to stay away from eggs, but it's like, I love eggs, but they're high in cholesterol. But, um, I think I'm gonna try to just egg if maybe, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm eating for not necessarily breakfast. It's more so lunch because it's one o'clock. All right, so I just got to the office, and it's so cute in here. I love it. Outside looking good. All right. But, um, yeah, the TVs are gone, by the way. I don't know if I updated y'all on that. I just bought in this package, which is from um, Shein. Then I have this box, which is uh, for my laptop. And yeah, so I'm about to actually, I need to hang up the clothes for the closet sale. And I know some people don't really like the um, mystery boxes. So eventually I think I'm gonna hire somebody else on outside of uh, my virtual assistant. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get somebody else to um you know post the pictures and stuff and handle all of that on poshmark but yeah i have to do some boohoo pretty little thing i got some shapewear stuff i got some dia and co stuff too so i'm just you know doing what i need to do i said she in already right well she and boohoo pretty little thing fashion and figure um and i actually have to pick out like my asol stuff and all of that First things first, I'm going to set up my laptop thingy and see how that works. And then get to everything else. But I'm here. So I set up the tri screen setup on my laptop. It's awesome. I'm going to just fold it in and keep it attached to my laptop because I feel like I'm going to find myself using it all the time. It will make my lap my laptop what my laptop bulkier, but um I don't care. It'll be in my work bag. So over here I'm checking YouTube comments. Over here I am editing my Amazon storefront. It's easy to just navigate from here over here to this screen, and there we go. 
then I can come over here, pick out my ASOS stuff for this week. And yeah, I love it. What's on your mind by KCAM? Here it is on Spotify. Alright, so babes, um, beanbag is done, matched the curtains really nicely. Y'all, it was such a struggle filling up these bean bags, these smaller ones, because y'all know the big one used to be there where the pole is. And honestly, it only was used when the kids came over. So I'm like, well, I want to put something that I'm actually gonna use out there. So yeah, made the ordered this um cover from Wayfair ordered the two gray ones that's in the spirit dog room from amazon and i used some of the stuff in that was from the bigger bean bag and it's still like halfway full for real so um yeah hold on let me see i'm trying to turn the lights on for y'all so i'm actually about to make the bed change the sheets turn the lights on there we go but um, babe didn't want to stuff it more and honestly I had to get her like literally get on her to put more in here to get it to this point like it was so flat y'all but she wanted to stop and so yeah this is how it looks it's still cute I just didn't want it looking like just floppy soggy so yeah um about to make the bed I need to clean these mirrors too but it's definitely starting to look more like a room. Like, I love it. Now, I'm like, eh, about the pictures over there in the corner. I'm not sold on it yet. And I, I am going to put the string lights 
but honestly I might do away with the pictures I'm just not sure about them that's it just not sure about the pictures yet might move them lower or something like I don't know but I feel like it's clashing with those pictures over there so I think I'm gonna move them lower and do it like that I don't know we'll see but let me go ahead and change these sheets and make the bed so y'all can see how the room is looking the vacuum died in the middle of me <laughs> vacuuming the stuff up like literally this vacuum is the goat because it was a bunch of little stuffing everywhere so I'm about to go get the other battery for that and then you know finish doing this <laughs> I have to go fix my corner watching lovely tea but I'm about to go fix my corner and I love how it's looking it's so pretty babe's gonna do her side with her string lights and stuff and I'm still debating like I don't think I want those pictures in the corner or just as many but I'm about to look on Pinterest and get some inspo all right so we are in a dimmer setting okay so the lights are off it's actually like almost 9 30 so my blinds are about to close or curtains rather my bed <laughs> and then um the lights are about to come on so i redid this corner and i like it better um initially i was gonna go with like linear photos and then um do the lights and i didn't want it all the way up there i tried to line the heights with the mirror they i tried to stop the blinking but they were in the old bedroom um they were strung on the windows and the curtains so yeah I'm so ready to see what babe does with her corner y'all she want to put like <laughs> i don't want to put it out there but she wanted to put like some quotes up from like mlk and rosa parks and malcolm x and stuff look they closing The lamp should be coming on. I don't know why it's a slight delay, but oh, there they go, there they go. What about you? Oh, okay, okay. But anywho, um, some quotes and stuff, and I'm just like, it was a picture of them and then quotes, and I don't know, but for me, when it comes to the bedroom, I literally don't have any faces you know that's line work over there so it can be depicted as a face but it's like no eyeballs and stuff staring at you and stuff like that like abstract art is what i like in the bedroom i do have figures up there no faces right and then over here i have one picture with my nephew sister and brother and i do have to put my little cousin in there but for some reason i feel like faces are meant for common areas like the living room, the entryway, a uh, family room, um, you know, so I was like, I don't know about that for a bedroom. <laughs> it's given woman cave or is given like entryway or something, but I think she got a little attitude, y'all, but I don't know what she gonna do, but I'm excited to see. And I might like hide the cords or something, but then again, it's given lawn art. <laughs> it's given abstract, right? So I don't really know about the cords over there in the corner, but we shall see. I might just, I don't know what I could do. Like line them up and make them look nicer, I guess. A Chipotle salad. I think it's spinach, um, romaine, and kale. And then I got barbacoa and chicken, brown rice. Tomato, corn, and cheese. About to find something on the TV. Holy. Oh, yeah. Alright, there we go. 
put that sound bar on good morning so your girl got up at 7 a.m no my bad my alarm went off at 5 55 i put it back on to 6 15 so i got up around that time but um yeah i'm up early i'm about to check some emails and stuff but i'm watching the proud family and i didn't notice it was the new one until chloe ass popped up on the screen i'm like huh from chloe and holly so yeah Anywho, I'm definitely probably going to take a nap today. I don't know. Oh, let me keep that on while I talk. I don't know what I'm doing today. So, I'm going to figure that out. And um, But for the most part, I'm about to start by checking emails and comments. All right, today is... Why my grits look a little watery? Like, I ain't really fooling with that, but they okay, though. Um, I did make them a little different. But anywho, I got these like Eggo French toast sticks, made four chicken wings. I'm trying to cut back on these. They feel good, but you know, sodium and all of that. But some syrup for my French toast sticks and some grits. I have an addictive personality, so something is really good. Um, one day I'm gonna eat it for the whole week. And then I have my profi in here. I use the strawberries and cream um, premier protein shake. Then I have my heart and blood pressure tea. And I have a water over there where I'm gonna sit and eat. I got my locks up and some struggle updo. I don't even know, but it came out kind of cute. But anywho, this is still my protein shake. Like this cup literally keeps ice for like 18 hours. And I love it. So I'm about to get on the pole. <laughs> Not really. I think I'm gonna do like some pole conditioning that I saw on TikTok. Or just watch a video, um, like a beginner's pole exercise type video. I think I'm gonna do that. So, I wanted to show y'all these babies. Oh, wait. These babies. Um, And if you're wondering about this, I think I got these from Yoga Club, like, maybe three, four years ago. And then this bra is, of course, my active wear line. And, yeah, it's just giving. It's giving. It's making me want to do pink leggings now. So, maybe stay tuned. I don't know. So before I show y'all these, let me tell y'all. So I ate my food. Um, I put all that syrup in that jar. Literally didn't even barely touch the syrup. Um, I'm about to put in like an Instacart order because my the kiddos are coming over this weekend and they um I asked them if they had any snack requests. So it's like honey bun, Snickers. Somebody said broccoli. My cousin she said broccoli, and I love me some broccoli. Like. Go out. She that's the key to my heart. My brother wanted loaded fries. My nephew wanted Oreo ice cream. My sister wanted Snickers and honey buns. And I'm probably gonna make like Alfredo. I was gonna do a Sunday dinner, but they probably be at a Monday. So I might make it Monday and send it back with them because I'm going out to eat with baby that night. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. But I actually been writing in this. This is so cute. Look. So cute. He said, I stopped walking in the shadows and discovered my own light. It was $8 at Marshall's. So I started um, putting podcast topics in here. Y'all know I no longer have the beanbag boogie. I'm no longer a part of the beanbag boogie. So um, I'm starting my own. And it's not, I don't want it to be too formal like podcast, podcast, because everybody's starting a podcast. I just wanted it to, hold on. Cause I just got another topic in my head, but I just want it to be like a more formal version of my pillow talks, which I used to do on here talking about so many things. So yeah, let's get into these bags and then I'm going to look up a whole dance exercise thing. So I'll start with the smallest and go to the medium and then the large. And I think the large is going to be my work, one of my work bags. So here, because my other black bag has my drone in it now, so I only have my nude one and I have a pink one that I use. But this is the Telfar Times East Pack collection and this is the circle bag in yellow. First of all, the dust bags are everything. I wanna say East Pack is like a book bag brand. Um, I think, I don't know. So this is like, the small one, um, small circle bag. 
love this can't wait to add it to my collection y'all know i got the whole tell feezy show but i don't know oh yeah the other one does have a pocket so this one has like a mesh little insert like uh, all right all right all right all right so like a mesh pocket then it has like a zip pocket and it has another zip pocket so definitely more pockets than the other one has but this is definitely i feel like you can be able to put a few things in here so it has like the book bag handle and then it also has this cross body thing but it's more so like giving streetwear like oh she's giving 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 all right um i'm gonna undo or unbox one of them on tiktok but yeah yeah yeah, Tough Easy, this is fire. Black, ooh. But what I love is these. Like, my work bag, if you know, it gets heavy. So to have, okay, to be able to put it on the back like that is everything. And of course it has this handle. I hope it's strong, because mine should be heavy. And it has a water bottle. So far I did it, like two water bottles. I got the protein shake. And I got the water over here. Like, come on. Um, the material is definitely book bag material. And then, oh, spacious for sure. What's getting me is like the mouth doesn't open. It's, I know it's not called a mouth, but it doesn't open that wide. Oh, another strap. So. I'm wondering like is my laptop gonna be hitting the corners when I go to put it in there or am I gonna have to turn it like the long way and then you know y'all know what I'm saying so let's see if I can get y'all in here like it's really hard to do but it's a pocket in there there's a zip pocket there's a big pocket then it's a mesh pocket and it is a big padded pocket which is good for um, your laptop to keep it safe. I think I know I attached the monitors now, so that's perfect. And I'm probably gonna do like a pack my work bag with me on TikTok and show y'all how I utilize all the pockets and stuff. So it's actually two zip pockets, a mesh pocket and a padded pocket. A lot of utilization in here. Okay, and I'm glad I got this in black to match my um, lunch box, which is also this color. So let me go unbox this other one on TikTok and then I'm going to show you the yellow medium bag. Alrighty, so this is the medium dust bag and this is how it looks. I'm gonna come closer, but um, yeah, this is how it looks. Really, really cute. I love the deep yellow color and of course it has both the um, mesh drink holders on the side straps line the back and yeah same amount of pockets and stuff on the interior so definitely one of my favorite tough bar collections honestly i really wanted the padded collection where it was like um it looks like uh -uh, okay <laughs> it looks like a bubble coat i really wanted that collection but i'm happy that i got this one and I, honestly this one was really easy to get like i didn't even have to rush or nothing even though i did because you know how tell far be but um yeah this one was available for at least um 30 minutes after it had dropped and i know these things be sold out in seconds so i guess nobody wanted the east pack um as much or just didn't know about it but i love it and by far one of my favorites i wish i would have got the small circle black bag but it's okay it's okay um i got the yellow one i feel like the black would have been more like i could throw that on with anything but then i was like well i got like some from she and like the crossbody streetwear vibes so that's that let me go ahead and um get into this workout child uh, i need to say don't do me Can't be with 
Alrighty, so I'm about to make my tea, but also I'm about to make this uh, lemon, yeah, Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti um, with zucchini from HelloFresh. And again, these this vlog is not sponsored by nobody but the Kwana White, okay? Um, this is just what I happen to have been trying lately. I'm about to clean this because what is on my air fryer? I'm about to clean it anyway. This kitchen about to be clean. I'm about to go get the kiddos, but... Yeah, um, I have my meals or whatever, but I've just been wanting to try this one. So that's what I'm about to do. And yeah, clean the kitchen. All right, so I got the um, dishes loaded into the dishwasher. So now the only other two dishes will be the one I eat out of. And these two pans here. Got the zucchini over here. I'm on Khadija in the background, but this is how it came out. It looks pretty good. I haven't tasted it yet. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. If it's nasty, I'm going to tell y'all. Okay. That's a big taste, child. Oh, God. That's good. So my sister's cupcakes are here. They got messed up. So I'm definitely going to complain to Publix. And then got her some flowers, um, some fruit, a unicorn, and then the number 17. She's 17. I can't believe it. So yeah, I am about to go back upstairs to finish getting this guest room together for them. Then I'm going to get on the road and go get them um, and start the dishwasher too and put those clean dishes on the island away. Okay, so I got the guest room ready for the kids. Here I am looking crazy, but I got this room ready. So this is a wall bed, but because I had already put the decor in place and stuff, I just was like, I'm gonna put this other air mattress in here because I already had it in here like to be folded and put away. So I put a fresh pair of sheets on there and yeah, um, I did that. Then the recliners are just sitting over here and I got the projector on but it's light outside so you won't be able to see it but by the time I get back tonight they will be able to see it I'm about to put some extra blankets in there but this room typically isn't too too cold I have not been vlogging but the kiddos are here I got them last night and I'm trying to see what these dogs are over here doing but can y'all tell me they've made breakfast can y'all tell me how these kids know how to work a freaking stripping pole Huh? Hello? Them girls, them girls was on the pole. I'm like, ooh, Chile, y'all gonna be a problem, okay? But anywho, um, it was pretty fun this morning. Played some cornhole, the kids played some basketball, and now we just relaxing. Lace just down there playing the game, my mom chilling, uh, jaw down the shower, doobie is laying in the bed resting, and Girl, go. Hey. All right. So I got the burgers done, the buns toasted. My nephew act like he's starving. Got the cold stuff over here. Got some bacon, beef bacon. You already know that. Some grilled onions. I got some condiments. Hungry number one. Most hungry number two. Like, yeah, he's starving. Loaded fries in oven. He's around you too, looking Ooh. crazy. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, now everything is done. Got the loaded fries. They look so good. Uh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what, Doobie? 
Anyway, so we about to eat. My burger bar came out so cute. Remy, get out the way. They came out so, so cute. Or I'll do my mouthwash, it just depends. Fresh ball and whatnot. Then I'll have to use warm water because my teeth are actually sensitive to cold. That's all you're gonna do? Yes. Anywho, y'all, I did my sister makeup. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys, so I just did Malaysia's makeup. It's so cute. Oh my god. <sighs> it's so pretty. Close your eyes. Wow. Slay. Oh, don't play. All right, y'all. So I'm thinking like this. Oh wait, hold on. They not about to copyright me, but y'all, I feel like you know, low key. Uh, this could be my new profession. Like, ah! so now we're at Chili's. Oh my god, you're so cute. Ah! Oh my god. Yeah. Been hyping up her, her own hair though. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, yeah, I think I'm gonna get my usual though. Yes, I got the sizzling fajitas. She got the quesadillas and fries. We tore them up. Mama got a little stinky stink. Where's your broccoli? Oh no, we need your broccoli. Yeah. This was so fire. Like, this is my new go-to. I usually get quesadillas. But y'all, this right here, mom. She too fancy for me, child. She got steak. Mm. <laughs> y'all, please tell me why she think <laughs> this is going to stay right here in the frequent entryway of the house. Like, girl. Anyways. She want to go fishing, y'all. Although, you kind of look like a mermaid. <laughs> Anywho, let me show y'all what I'm doing. Ugh, don't mind the house. It's dirty. A mess. So I am making dinner real early, though. It's only uh 2.30, I think. My Apple Watch ain't been working. Hold on. It's getting real annoying. It's time to upgrade. Okay, so... I am about to start the seafood now that I'm done with the chicken and the steak. So, usually, I don't have the steak or the chicken like a hundred percent, but they both at like 90 because I'm gonna rewarm it before I plate it. So, yeah. But, anywho, did the broccoli. I think I'm gonna just bake the broccoli into the Alfredo. Um, I'm doing all the meat separately. Because I'm putting different meats in different people's plates. So my aunt and my dad and me probably going to get salmon, steak, shrimp. Uh, the kids probably going to get steak, shrimp. And then babe is getting chicken, steak. And yeah, we're going to do it like that. Everybody get broccoli. So I think I'm just going to bake the broccoli into the alfredo. And then put the meats on top. I'm making garlic bread and I'm making a side salad as well. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. Not much of anything, but it's about to come together really. I can't believe 
I like my medium, so that's mine. Everybody else's as well, like medium and medium well and well. So yeah, that's mine. I put my salad in here because I'm taking a rest and a bowl to them. Um, the adults, okay, get salmon, shrimp, and steak. My dad don't really eat steak, so I'm gonna give him a little bit here. No, no, <laughs> one more year. I want that. Down the line. Yeah. And what they do when I got done? Ooh, hey, 